what, what, Hi everybody, what, welcome to Big Eye Golf. What are you playing on? I am at the Kendallshire today okay. and uh, we've done some filming on the course. Didn't play very well. Like the hat? Keep yourself uh, out of the sun. I'm very, very tired. Uh, I'm at the Kendallshire in Bristol and I'm going to do some videos today with Emma Brown. Emma Brown PGA, wonderful golf pro and she teaches here at the Kendallshire. And uh, oh, I was going to Bristolian then. And, uh, we're here also with Nigel Barrett. Nigel Barrett is a member here, one of the Buccaneers. He's a member of the Candleshire. Uh, also, is based in Chepstow, so again, it's not too far from him. So we're going to do. Emma's going to do a couple of little lessons with him. Um, she's going to do some lessons with me. She's going to do some solo lessons, little pro tips for you, whole manner of things today. So we're going to start today and find out all about Emma and how she teaches. Let's go and take a look. This is a 56. Okay. Which. <laughs> yeah. As I say, normally, uh, if I can, I'll play something like a 7-iron and just try and get it as close as I can with that. But obviously it's not ideal because you, you're running it. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing. So if you've got something that you have to go over, do you, is that what you really struggle with? Um, it's, it's judging where to land it and then getting the right contact and landing it in that place. Uh, quite often thinning wedges as so I look up and see where I think it's gone, before okay. it's gone. Um, All the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, if I get you to hit these three, just don't, if, if you do rehearsal swings, do them. If you don't, don't add anything in just for, yeah, for me. I, okay. I, I never do. <laughs> and and before you start, I'll just have a little intro. This is Nigel Barrett. You'd have seen him on the channel before. Hi UK again. Corporate Golf, various other things, one of the Buccaneers. This is very effervescent. <laughs> Emma Brown. So what are you going to do with him to start off with? Uh, so I'm just going to get, because I've never seen Nigel hit a ball, of course. I'm going to get him to just hit these three just to start off with. Probably watch three from this side, maybe three from that side, just to see if there's anything like really drastic. Um, <laughs> and then we'll just maybe video it just so he can see it and then okay. go from there. Nigel plays off 17, is it? 17, yeah. Um, so you're not a bad golfer in my, certainly in my eyes, I've seen you play some really good stuff. I've seen you play again today. You hit the ball really well, the long distance stuff. And then you always say to me that you struggle when you get around the greens and your short, your short game isn't that good. I was just saying to Emma the same thing. <laughs> but it's the confidence thing with you, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to let you carry on. Okay. Right. So, so. do what you would do, okay? Are you going to hold all three? Yeah, this is when he says he's not very good. He does this, yeah, honestly. Rubbish. Yeah, yeah, nerves yeah, kicking catch, in. Catch the ground on the on the way back. That's okay. <laughs> so is that a true reflection of what you do? No, definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. Is it? Is it? Is this better or is this? Uh, one of those might be representative. Normally, it's that one or it's thinned okay. through. Right. Um, if I can get you to get those three again and I'm going to video it from the front. Yeah, I would, I would say from playing with Nigel fairly regularly, short game is just erratic. Yeah. Because sometimes it, it's masterful. Yeah. A bit like that for a shot. It was just, yeah, why did he do a lesson? Yeah. But <laughs> confidence, I think it's confidence with you sometimes. What you sometimes yeah, get, I mean, what you, for me, with short game, is the repeatability. Well, it's like all your game, when people talk about consistency, yeah. If we're not doing the same thing every time, it really does no you do notice a massive difference with a short shot. Yeah, I think I'm quite rusty. Uh, have you have you ever done any damage to neck, shoulders? Not neck, shoulders. I've got uh, I've had knee problems. Uh, okay. I've a little bit of a problem. I've got what's called the Taylor's bunion on Ooh. my right underneath the little toe here. So weight transfer is sometimes. Okay. We may have to get Nigel to speak up. He's a little bit shy sometimes, <laughs> but he is, he is very good on it. I think it's because Emma's here. He's not worried about it before. He's gone all shy and quiet. Right, right so <laughs> Nigel, if you can do these three shots again for me and tell me when you're ready, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ready to go? Yeah. That, that was on my camera, Ant. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not uncommon. Okay. Handed. Right. Those are 
probably more typical. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, that's fab. I'm glad you did something <laughs> that looked like that. Right, so if I show you, I did all of them, okay? Yeah. So this is your first one that we did. So if I show you this. So, mm -hmm. that kind of what goes on? Yeah, Right. a lot of the time. So if you look here, set up your quite hunched over to start off with. Okay. So yeah. what you tend to find, if someone's not confident with a shot, they'll go yeah. in. And yeah. then if you think, if the more in that we go, the less this is going to be able to move properly. And then we have to use our arms. So if you see that initial move that we do, your body hasn't really moved at all there. It's just literally, you've just taken the cover. Literally the arms, arms, yeah. Arms, okay. Yeah. So from there, we've got loads of different options and this is why the shots come out the way they do. So okay. on this one, if we kind of try and unravel your hands, we end up flicking at it. Yep. And then the ball goes massively up and just stops really quickly. And yeah. then we kind of like flick at it even more and then we thin it and we do anything in between. So what we're going to do is get, work on a little bit of setup, but your initial movement, we need to feel that your body is doing a lot more. Body. Okay. Arms are doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So more. Yeah. So, but, more. and I think what you can do then is because the bigger muscles going to be doing more, you don't need to then, um, you don't need to flap your arms around. Arms and wrists. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hello. Hello. You're all right. <laughs> Man with a delivery. Oh God. <laughs> Not for me, love. What are these for? I was hoping Congratulations, for Congratulations though, amazing. I've got more news. I'm now 14 handicap. Yes! And I won my division in the mostly seniors on Wednesday. Oh! 100 pound voucher, that's 140 quid. Hello, John! Hello, how are you doing? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I wanted to give this to this lovely oh, young lady because I've had one you. lesson with her. Okay. And she's brought me back from the, oh, you're the brink. And you've had your hair cut. Oh, no, I know, I've had my hair cut. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. No, it's all right. Yeah. We just did a little lesson, a little chipping lesson. Oh, I know. Oh, she's very good at that. <laughs> that's, well, that's what <laughs> I need. <laughs> oh, bless you. Right, so you're literally going to feel that if I was to put my hand here, the club doesn't need to go any further than that. Just so that. your corporate golf logo, nice little mention there. Nice, yeah. <laughs> doesn't, it, we want that to move. Okay, so I want okay. you to literally feel that that moves to the side. Okay, okay, so these next few, if I was able to, I'd take the flag out, because all we're trying to get you to do is land the ball on the green. We're not, we're not looking at a flag at the moment, we're looking at building on a, a movement. A movement. Okay. okay. Right, so let's try and get that to move. Okay, so it doesn't matter what happens the first few, I just want you to slow everything down, just really feel your corporate golf sign turns and then turns back towards the target. <laughs> so it turned, it turned and but, if you uh, notice it didn't turn back towards the target, okay? Okay. Like that. Better. See the oh. pose? Got to have that pose. That's, that's what the golf's based on is a pose. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's pick these and then you have got to follow it through because you've basically been doing that yep. and then that. So yep. this hasn't moved at all. So suddenly you get you moving on the way back, but you have to move on the way through. So if you okay. get the flag, just try and get it landing on the green. Okay. Almost. Just slow it down and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. Right, what do they feel like? Yeah, there's more movement. Still don't feel like I've got the control down at the club head yeah. at the moment. So. But I think where you, where you literally were here and yeah. then we did that straight away, this hadn't moved at all so suddenly we've now got movement and this is still going to wobble a little bit yeah if suddenly you were practicing and you said in three months time this was still happening i'd be all right with that not six balls yeah but i think okay. it's the getting if we can get getting this them. moving and then moving back but it's getting you posing towards the target is your biggie okay 
Yeah. yeah. Should we do three more? The flag on the way through. Okay. Right. So before you carry on, can you explain what's what the problem is so far we think oh so with nigel looking at the videos um nigel's first movement is a little bit hunched okay and that's what sometimes you'll get with um with people that are just worried about a shot yeah um in fact do you want to explain because they're already yeah, i'm very worried about my shots yeah that's <laughs> a, it's like game. a confidence and, and a bit of nervous <laughs> like, thing like obviously that's, that's what happens yeah. when you have a lesson with someone you've never met before yeah and it's, yeah. it is you know scary enough on camera let alone <laughs> with someone you've never met so yeah yeah and then so and then from that position you just don't move your body because it, i think it got tight to start off with so then it's very armsy yeah um so the more you move your arms around that club's moving constantly it's changing angles it's changing direction and then we're just unable to get a, uh, an efficient strike you're lacking consistency yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah so i think the biggie with short game is We've just going to try and reduce all the extra movements that are not needed. So it's repeatable. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're just trying to do here. But the big, I think with this is making sure we get a right strike first. Strike on the ball, yeah. And then once you get people working on strike, then you can work on distance control. Whereas trying to do it all in one go, your brain's just like... But this is the thing. And obviously, you know, I know Nigel and I, I, he's, I played, played Nigel. He's, he's a fantastic player at times. Really is. Out, out of this world. But 17 handicap. Yeah. And you'll say to me, you know, I can three putt really badly. I get five from this position, and yeah. that's that's what messes up your scores. Is this the short game? Yeah, no question. So they've yeah. done studies in terms of the the two big things is bombing off the tee, making sure you're hitting it with the de shambos of the world now. But thirty yards and inwards, yeah. that's yeah. the that's, that's your scoring you zone, isn't it? Massive. Yeah. And I think that we kind of go, oh, it'll be all right on the day, or if if I mess up on the day, it's okay. But it's not. It can be improved. Yeah. And we just want to get things clear, get rid of a lot of the rubbish and just practice better. You don't need to be hitting thousands of balls, but... You, you get a comparison. I play with um, some fairly low handicappers. I play with a guy called Mike Bourne, who's my partner for the West of England, and he plays off four. Uh, the difference will be we could be in a similar spot to the green. He'd take two to get up and down. I'd take four. Yeah. That's two shots. And, and yeah. Hole. And you, do, you only need to do that two or three yeah. times around. And then you mentally then think you're poor at it. And yep. then you kind of put this added pressure onto your putting. <laughs> and then we think our putting's bad. And then it starts the whole cycle again. So, yep. if you know, if we get closer to the flag at the end result, you're going to hold more putts. Yeah. So, that's where we're going. Sounds good. Right. Let's try and get some better. Again, doesn't really matter. Use it kind of a flag as your finished position. Get posy up there. Right. Just hit it. <laughs> I walk off now, Nigel. Yeah, just slam dunk it into there. <laughs> You're right about being hunched over if you try and pull your shoulders mm -hmm. back a little bit. I think it uh, helps. A bit flicky. A bit flicky, yeah. That's the lovely one. There's there's hardly anything going on, which yeah. and that's what we want because all that's all that we're doing is making it really simple. That and yeah. that we don't need this and this and this and this and this. And you'll get like, do I need to hinge my wrist? Do I need to flick at it? And it's oh, get rid of all of it. And it feels a lot easier to do if, as you say, you uh, don't close mm -hmm. down over the uh, the ball. So yeah, it, it's trying to pull the shoulders it's back. It's going to be one of these things that is a is not going to feel comfortable to start off because you'll be like, I need to get closer to the ball, mm. but we don't want to get closer by doing. <laughs> that which you that's all kind of what you were not that far. Yeah, well, <laughs> but but I, I do sometimes do that. Yeah. Off the tee as well, which is Do, do you think that is part in. of the confidence thing? Like you said, the, the further away the ball seems, the more scary it is. So you, you hunch up, you get closer and closer to it because you think you're gonna hit it strike properly from the closer distance. You can't I'm go wrong, can sure you? But you do. I, why I do it, um I think I, I need to push my just pull my shoulders back because otherwise you can't turn as well anyway can you so it's that posture thing again isn't it everyone talks posture. about posture oh, all the time so so set up. when um yeah. after lockdown that was the amazing thing probably most people i saw was posture related because obviously we were all sat doing nothing well i was yeah. <laughs> yeah. um and then suddenly people were st even i feel like myself stand like that and then we're gonna oh we're gonna set up to a ball now and we don't even notice it whereas I think it is just making sure everything you do needs to be a strong, solid position to get your body moving better. Yeah. 
Feel all right? Yeah. No, Any questions good. so far? No, that's good. That's good. There's okay. A couple so, of things to work on now, which are really good. Yeah. So so far, so. what are your what would you, what would you say your coaching points are for you to go away and work um, on? Posture. Mm -hmm. Not not yeah. sort of uh, hunching over the ball, and also that movement, trying to get the body moving rather than just the arms. Lucky and the two go hand in hand really don't they because if, you, if yeah. you're hunched over it you've got to use your arms whereas if you, you're further back then it's easier to make the move and turn okay yeah good okay so would that be that in a little lesson like that that would be all you'll want to put in in this one lesson yeah we don't want to add anything else because all that happens is it's just the practice of it now sure but all like what you'll sometimes get is like well what do i need to do to do this and what do i need to do to do this and it's we just got to get one thing right first and i think the setup caused the knock-on effect yeah like so we just get the setup right and then get that movement right and then you might have to practice the contact for the next two three four weeks who knows yeah don't be disheartened if don't you go out on the course yeah. and it all goes wrong yeah because it, it is right in the end exactly yeah okay yeah. So that, I mean, no, that's, that's why this is brilliant here because literally you could spend 10 minutes out here working on a strike and then go around and play the three holes, uh, the six holes working on the distance control then. Yeah. But if you don't get the strike right, the distance control is irrelevant. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, so while you're going to pick those up, I'll just quickly resume a yeah. little resume of what happened there. Yeah. So uh, with Nigel or anybody else in this kind of situation, mm -hmm. lack of confidence on the greens. Yeah. So what things are we looking at? Basics. The biggie it is with Nigel and with loads of people is the setup. Yeah. And then they'll watch um, mates or mates will have told them something or a pro said one thing and then another pro said something else. Or a YouTuber said or it. Or a YouTuber. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. There's, there's yeah. The amount, I mean, YouTube's brilliant. I love it. Yeah. But then if you get 100 videos on chipping, there might be 50 different options then, and yeah. then the person is just full of stuff up here. Sure. So, and, you know, as much as we are giving a, an advice mm. tip, advice mm. lesson, I would still say go go and get lessons. Yeah, without it's doubt. It's really important. Yeah. Not I mean, just with you or anybody. Yeah, you'll get people that they video it and they go, well, that doesn't look right. So if I make that look better, it's got to get better. And sometimes it is curing the bit before that to make it look sure. better. Or it doesn't suit their actual game anyway. Exactly. Yeah, you can, you can look at, you know, I'd like to look at Ernie else and think I can swing like that, but I'll never do. It's, but you have an idea in your head mm -hmm. and you can only get to some point when you, without lessons, when you, you need to obviously start honing things better. Yeah. There's only so much you can learn yourself. Yeah. And then like Nigel, he got to a point in his, in his golf career, let's just say, or his golf enjoyment that he's, he's struggling to get any better yeah and that the, the conversation was like well, how good have you have got and what do you want to do with your golf and having seen the first six six shots there's obviously some really good work that we can do on that sure. just as long as we're practicing the right way you don't want to spend hours on and hours on out here and if you think this costs money to do this you don't want to be having lessons and not been practicing that well yeah um, you just hit a lovely shot. Yeah. So that's where it's going to land. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's all I would say is you don't need it doesn't need to be hours. You can give like a couple of coaching points, get the person to go away and practice better, video it as well. That's the other yeah. thing that people don't video it enough, and they they work on feel versus what's actually going on. I think that's what you said at the end. Obviously, right now Nigel just hit three lovely shots. I mean, they were ever lovely. Oh, they were. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, but it's about now going back and practicing that mm. and having fun practicing, yeah. not just making it a drudgery kind of thing. I love short game. This is my biggie. I love it. I really do. And we just don't practice properly. We kind of people get so bored with it. They're not like enjoying it, and then yeah. they don't do it. Then they never get. Everyone better. wants a bit of drive long, and that's about it. Yeah, but this yeah. is the. I think this is the one that we can really get you doing some work. Yeah. I mean, you I, think you've only been you've hit. Three, six, not you probably hit 12, 15 balls in yeah. what even time is that? 20 minutes, not even that. Yeah. And you've got a clear idea because you can see you've just done that. I'm, I know this is the area mm. that can improve my game as well. So we're going a bit closer, Nigel, just for, just, just for the finish. So, so like I said these, these are relatively short videos because we're just giving you little bits of simple advice. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we don't want to put too much into one video because it's just going to bamboozle you. Mm -hmm. Certainly, all bamboozles me. Mm -hmm. um, just go back and work on it now, just all you can do, no, right? That's yeah. really useful, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. And, and what would you say next would be probably learn a bit more distance control yeah. once he's used to that mm -hmm. strike? So strike first, because like I said, if you're if you're not hitting the ball out the middle the same each time, the distance control is going to be so 
varied anyway so strike and when you feel that that's working then move yourself further away try different clubs but yeah. strike first so maybe in the future we'll come back and we'll do another little tip with Nigel on that see how he's done that and, uh, right. yeah looking forward to holding a few of these yeah get ready <laughs> absolutely get thanks ready. so much for watching everybody <laughs> please subscribe please hit the notification bell do all that stuff doesn't really matter if you don't i'm still going to be here i'm still going to be filming and we're still going to be teaching and nigel's hopefully going to still be in more better pitches and better short game <laughs> bye for now everybody bye. Thank you.